Hey, what's going on, guys? I have Studios here for another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a ceramic material in Cinema 4D. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, also, I'm going to be making a scene to accompany that material. Um, so, yeah, anyway, let's get started. Uh, so, we're going to add a plane. I'm going to scale it up a bit. And this is just going to be our floor object. So, I'm going to make a new material for the floor. Another color. I'm just going to use a floor material I have. You can use your floor material if you want to. Floor material. <laughs> and... Um, normal map yeah I'm gonna use a normal map so yeah you can use your material here I'm just using random floor material I've got and reflectance we'll just bring down the specular a bit to like 60 percent anyway just a floor material I'm making um, so oh, drop that onto there and set the UV mapping length to 20 and 20 there we go that's good and we're also gonna add a physical sky Send this from over there, so yeah, we'll do just like this. Uh, we're gonna add some spheres as well now, just to make it kind of spheres as a demo. Cause spheres always look good most of the time. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna grab that, and also we should probably bring the uh, object here. Bring the segments. We'll bring that up to forty-eight. Maybe you can even bring it up more if you want to, but I'm just gonna keep it at forty-eight. Um, let's see here. There we go. We'll just make them like that. Control C, Control V, and we're just gonna, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make three spheres. Because spheres usually look good to show off of material. Unless it's like a rock material, then it doesn't look good. <laughs> but, uh, alright. You can just Control C to copy them, that's what I'm doing here. Alright. So we're gonna put the last sphere in place here, and then we'll make the actual pors or the, not porcelain, um, uh, ceramic material. Sorry. Um,. There we go. Alright, position that right in there. I think that's good enough. This doesn't have to be perfect anyway. We're going to move like just like that. And we're going to just drop in a camera. Alright. Now, we'll make the porcelain material. Or porcelain? No. Ceramic material. I keep saying porcelain. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, color. You want to set that to completely white. Diffusion. Enable it. Luminance. Enable it. Set the brightness to 25%. And go to reflectance let's add a new ggx reflection set the roughness well we can keep it at zero reflection strength 10 specular strength 15 intuition additive i accidentally brought up the roughness there oops bring that down again okay the bump you also want to enable that texture noise and go into the bump shader and set the noise to turbulence there you go, and that's all you need to do there. So I think we're all good, actually. Yeah, that's it. That's porcelain material. We'll apply these to our spheres. Um, also, we'll do some render settings here. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna move these. Oh, yeah, here I'm just gonna move these. Um, I'm just gonna move these spheres a bit. Grab the other side of our camera. I'm just gonna change the scene a bit there. All right, now render settings. Um, output um, twenty by. 1080p and uh, render physical I find looks the best uh, now uh, al like optimally you would turn up your sampling quality to high but since I do want to show that end result in the video I'm not going to turn it up to high uh, so yeah set that to high when you're rendering for best results but I'm just going to set it to low right now because I don't want super long render times and I'm not going to enable um, it's called ambient occlusion or global illumination because the texture or the sorry the material looks just fine without it. So we're gonna render, and um, yeah, here we are. <clears throat> so you will end up with some hard shadows, but I just don't want super long render times um, because I'm recording a video, right? I don't want a ten minute. Vi I don't want like a half an hour video of just the, the Cinema 4D rendering. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any requests for tutorials, um, just post them in the comment section below, and I'll see what I can do. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.